Hey everybody, welcome back to Small Talk Japan. On this show, we talk about all things Japan in English. My name is Mitch, and I'm here with Natsuki. Natsuki, you know, we had a request from one of our patrons. Okay. I, I asked him, I said, don't name. The, okay. Don't name him. I was like, if you could change anything about our show, what would you do? He said, every week, Natsuki. Oh! And I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> When I was in the, the comments for, so we have this podcast on YouTube and it's on Spotify and all, and all the places that you can get、uh, audio podcasts. But like when I was like reading it, the, the comments of it, like a lot of the comments are like, especially from Japanese people. And like most of the comments are like, <laughs> oh, I'm encouraging, encouraging, encouraging them. Encourage.、So、ba- basically, what I just said for those who don't speak Japanese、mm-hmm. is like, you know, if, if, that, if that person can be in an English that podcast, person, that person. can be in an English podcast, I can speak English too. Yes, you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, roll that intro. So, so Natsuki, yesterday、yeah. I, uh, I went to the, the dentist.、Mm-hmm. What happened? So, like four weeks ago, I woke up one morning and I was like, I can't open my mouth. Oh, really? Oh, you're like sore? My heart? heart? So, like,、mm. I ne- this never happened to me before, but like, I had pain from. Pain. So, I have all of my wisdom teeth. Because、uh, I, like, I should have gotten them removed when I was in high school or like, you know, early college age. But I grew up poor and I didn't have medical insurance until I was like. Until I came to Japan, basically. Really? Yeah. So, what did you do if you had a cold? So, when I was in university, because America's stupid.、Um, so, I mean, this is like also before o- Obamacare and everything has changed. I don't know if it's better or worse now, but like before, basically, like if you were a university student and you didn't have a full time job, you basically didn't have insurance. Hey. And so, your only option was to go to the university clinic,、huh. which was based on, they call it a sliding scale. So, like, if you didn't have a job or if you didn't have insurance, they would only charge you a little bit of money.、Uh-huh. And so, like, that's like, if I got sick or anything that happened to me, my university was like a one hour and 15 minute drive from my house. And so, like, I would have to drive an hour and 15 minutes to go to the university clinic whenever I got sick. Because America's stupid. Even if you have like high fever, you have to Anything, drive. Yeah.、Ha. Anything. And so, no, so no. If I have a high fever, what we do in America, because we're fucking stupid, is that we just sit at home and hope it gets better. <laughs> That's it. No, no, no. It's, it's, it's dumb. I, for all of those conservatives out there, they're like, America has the best health care in the world. Yeah, if you have a lot of money. Yeah. If、that's、you don't have a、I、lot、thought. of money, if、uh-huh. you're a poor university student or if you're just middle class or poor, you're fucked. Yeah,、uh, And so when I came to Japan, I was like, wow, so this is what single payer looks like. Single payer is fucking awesome. Now, you guys have a lot of dumb doctors. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> There's a lot of stupid doctors in Japan. So you have to shop around to find a good doctor. But once you find a good doctor, you're fine.、Mm. So anyway, when I was in university or in high school, I didn't get my wisdom teeth removed because I didn't have insurance.、Mm-hmm. Okay. So I have all of my wisdom teeth, and they're all. What is the word in English? Umateru te. Ah, they're in my gums. There's a word for this. And then, like, inside of your gum, yeah. right? Yeah. And whatever. They're not, they, they haven't come out yet, except for one. One has come out, and it's,、um, and it's like so far back in my jaw that, I mean, I, obviously, I, like, I do a good job flossing and brushing my teeth every day, but it's so far back in my jaw that sometimes, like, I don't do like a perfect job of、mm-hmm. like brushing back there.、Mm-hmm. And so it got a little bit infected the other day. And so I went to the, the one dentist and they're like, you need to have this removed. But that dentist、uh, didn't have a surgeon. They didn't、mm-hmm. have somebody who could remove a, a, wisdom, t- a w- wisdom tooth.、Mm-hmm. So I went to a different dentist, one of my students' moms, and、uh, she's like, oh, yeah, we can remove this today. And I was like, I got a party to go to tonight. So let's do this another day. <laughs> But anyway, as I was there, not only did、oh, this place is great, they, they took、uh, x rays of everything, cl- cleaned my teeth. They asked me in the questionnaire, you know how Japanese dentists they like make you come many, many times?、Mm-hmm. I was like, in the questionnaire that they asked me, they're like, would you like to come many times for a little bit of time, or would you like to come just once for a long period of time? Oh, good for you. And I was like, once for a long period of time, <laughs> let's get this fucking done. And、uh, anyway, so they took x rays and then they took the, the photos of my teeth. And Josh, I sent him a picture of this. So, this girl is like taking pictures of my teeth. 
and she's like smile and then another girl is like opening my mouth with these like plastic things and they're just like operating on me like a, like 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 a crew at NASCAR and I was just like, I'm going to take a picture of the girl taking a picture of me. And that's how we got that picture. It looks like you had a great time <laughs> with All them. All female young staff. And they were just like like enamored with me. Because when I walked <laughs> in there, so there's a machine to take your, your x-ray of your mouth, right? The 360 degree x-ray machine. And so like when they did that, I was like, I stood in the machine and they like, because they can adjust the height of the machine. And they just kept like adjusting it up and up and up and up. And it like stopped. And they're like... Sorry, you're too tall. <laughs> okay. They're like, can you duck down and get into this? So I like crawled into this machine. It was, it was, it was funny. It was really funny. But anyway, I'm gonna have to have my wisdom tooth removed at some point. And, uh, and then you haven't got yet, uh, got it out yet. No, because like it's old bone and everybody's here, and like I have like parties to go to. So uh, I right. say I'll do that later. And right, right. knowing me, when I say I'm gonna do something later, it means that I'll just forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> Until it starts hurting again. Yeah. Do you have your wisdom teeth? Zero, zero. zero. I, I took them all, uh, everything out when, when I was young. When you were young. That's yeah. what most people do. I mean, I had a br breast. Breast. She had breasts, guys. <laughs> no, no, no. What, what was the English for it? Braces. Like, braces. I had a, mm, so braces when I was young. So mm -hmm. uh, I, ha I had to take off my wisdom teeth. Otherwise, you know. Yeah, I get fucked up. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, th I mean that. So I was I was having this conversation um, with uh, one of my friends the other day, and I was talking about how, you know, like obviously, like you know, I I have I, I I'm not poor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have the money to fix my teeth if I want to. Like cause I, my front tooth overlaps. I don't know if you guys mm -hmm. can see this, but it overlaps a little bit. Um, and I have the money to to fix this, but I never got braces as an adult because every morning when I wake up and I floss my teeth, I look in the mirror and I remember when I used to be poor as fuck and scared every day because I didn't know like, you know, because when you're when you're poor, um, you know, it's just it sucks, especially if you're in the United States, because there's not a lot of like so there's not a lot of like welfare net for you to for for people to be caught in and i just remember thinking like all the time like when i was poor just like how much it sucked how stressful my life was like i didn't know especially when i was in university like sometimes i'd be like can i eat today mm. you know and so one of my things as an adult is i never fix my teeth because i always felt like i should be reminded of that time mm. and so i never got braces how many years did you have braces two or three years when i was like 10 to 10 10? To 12, uh, uh, two years then. Yeah. She, yeah, she's a rich girl. Thank you. A, what, do you, what, do you what do you call it? Like old Joel song? Yeah. Princess. Thank you. Princess. That's true. <laughs> uh, I want to talk about something that you will have no, you you don't know anything about this. So just, just nod along. One of my favorite YouTubers is in super controversy right now. Okay. So there's a YouTuber called Linus. Tell Linus. His name is Linus. Linus. And he has a channel called Linus Tech Tips. And they've lost like 200,000 subscribers. And like their private uh, float plane channel has lost like, I don't know, 5,000 subs. And like he's having some problems right now. What's happened? Well, it's two things. One, he made some mistakes. There, his company made some mistakes. Um, and they had some problematic data in some of their videos. And then they also fucked over a little company, but not, on, I don't think they did it on purpose. I think, I think what happened was, so Linus has a, a company called Linus Media Group, LMG. And I think what happened is that they got really, really big quickly. And so they went from having like 12 employees to having a hundred employees mm -hmm. really, really quickly. And when that happens, when Facebook got big, so we all know Zuckerberg, right? Mm -hmm. Zuckerberg. Mm -hmm. When Facebook went from like two people or three people to like a major company, mm -hmm. the very first thing that happened is all of the VC venture capital funds, mm -hmm. the, the people that gave Facebook money to get even bigger, mm -hmm. they said, you need adults in the room. Mm -hmm. So they, they basically pushed Zuckerberg to hire a bunch of executives mm -hmm who know how to run a business. Mm -hmm. So you have Zuckerberg at the top, but everybody below Zuckerberg when, when Facebook started getting big were like seasoned veterans and they knew exactly how to run a business. Mm -hmm. So even though Facebook has had a lot of trouble in their past, they were as a company, as, as far as money goes, was pretty much managed pretty well. Mm -hmm. Linus Media Group was managed by Linus, which is a YouTube personality. 
Uh, he's not dumb. He's very smart. He's, he's got a lot of um, uh, motivation. Is he young? He's younger than us. Okay. But he has no executive management experience. Mm -hmm. And that's not a problem if you grow into the role. But he admitted, and smart, smartly, he, he admitted that he wasn't able to continue this. And so he put in a new CEO like six weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And then after he put in the CEO, as the CEO was like learning the company and just getting used to it, Lion has made a big fucking problem. <laughs> I'm curious what he did. It's really technical. Basically, a small company made a computer part mm -mm. and they lent it to Linus and Linus made a video about it. But instead of using the part the way it was supposed to be used, he didn't use it properly uh, and then said this is a stupid part because mm -mm. it didn't work, even though he didn't use it properly. Mm -hmm. And then they were supposed to give this part back to the company but because of internal mismanagement, they sold it. Mm, mm. So this tiny little company of two people, their really expensive little part was gone. And so... That's sad. Yeah, yeah. So that's not good. Mm. And so he should have came out and said, ah, we fucked up. I'm sorry. But he didn't. <laughs> so why are we talking about this? Wait, we're going to continue. So, okay. so then... So then after that, they came out with an apology video, which is okay. I mean, like, I mean, that... It was kind of weird. It's, it was kind of cringy, but they came up with an apology video. But the reason why we're talking about this is because then right after that, one of their ex-employees, a streamer by the name of Madison, mm -hmm. she came out on Twitter and started saying a bunch of bad things about the company, <laughs> saying that she was sexually harassed and that she was like that she couldn't take a day off and that all this other stuff. And... The reason why I want to talk about this is because like the response on Twitter and sorry, on X, <laughs> X. The, the response on X and the response on like the general Internet has been kind of weird to me. Did you watch the Amber Heard Johnny Depp trial? Oh, yes, I did. I mean, I didn't understand what they're really talking about, but I watched it. Well, basically, mm -hmm. the blonde girl took a shit on Johnny Depp's bed. Mm -mm. Johnny Depp won the oh, case, yeah, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the, the takeaway from that is just because a pretty girl goes on the internet and says a bunch of bad things about a man yeah. doesn't mean that that's true. Mm -hmm -hmm. He, she might be made it up, everything. Right. Yeah. Okay. So like, so my, my take is that if there's ever like sexual harassment or any of these claims, not to make fun of it, take it seriously, but also let there be an investigation. Let's have evidence. Let's have witnesses. Let's let's do the whole. Let's do the uh, an investigation on right, it. Right, right. Don't just believe the person mm -mm. because like, like have you had ex boyfriends before? Oh yeah. Are all of them a hundred? No, wait. One of your ex boyfriends came on the show. <laughs> No, he's not my ex. But anyway, yeah, no, 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 he wasn't. If I asked all of your ex-boyfriends about you, would they only say good things about you? I don't think so. <laughs> so yeah, it's their perspective. Their perspective, yeah, right? right. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying that their perspective is wrong. I mean, you might be an awful girlfriend. Okay. By the way, your husband, what's mm -hmm. going on with him? Like, he can't babysit your kids for a day? I mean... When he's not busy, yeah. <laughs> uh, inside, inside conversation. We were supposed to go to a, a party? birthday party yeah. for a 60-year-old. Mm -hmm. And I was like, Natsuki, you're coming, right? She's like, let me ask my husband. She's like, my husband's out of town. I was like, and I, I what did I write? Useless husband. <laughs> <laughs> he did. And the useless husband is like, in Japanese, tsukaene, <laughs> tsukaene. <laughs> can't use. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, anyway, getting back to the topic. So, like, mm. so this girl Madison, she came out with all these like crazy claims against uh, Linus, and if they if, uh, against his company, mm -mm. and if they turn out to be true, that's the I think it's the end of Linus Media Group. Mm -mm -mm. But the more I read uh, her Twitter account, and the more I read about what she wrote about Linus Media Group, I think that it's a two. There's two sides of this sword. I think what she's saying she believes mm -hmm. but i also think that she might have been a completely inexperienced person that went from being an independent worker to working for a company mm -hmm. with with a schedule and deadlines got over her head probably was shouldn't have been in that position mm -hmm. to begin with mm -hmm. uh, which is obviously linus media group's problem for hiring her but like also 
probably panicked, made some trouble on top of that, probably got bullied as well and then quit. So I think it's like one, the, the culture at the company is probably an issue, probably a problem. And then two, she was probably just a child that shouldn't have been in that, in that <laughs> position. But the response on the internet has just been stupid weird. It's always like, oh, she's saying this, that's the end. I'm like, dude, you guys can't, can't just like randomly believe someone just because she's a pretty girl. <laughs> if she's ugly. <laughs> I, then that's the thing is if, like, <laughs> if Amber Heard was like, but ugly, mm-hmm. Right. No one believe her. <laughs> you gotta wonder. You gotta wonder. Like, uh, it's always a pretty girl that's doing this shit, you know. And you get all these guys that like rush it. It's it's. This is. I don't blame women for this. I actually blame men for this. You get all these guys who are trying to like. We call it white knighting. Uh-huh. It's like, oh, I'll save you. I'll protect you from the bad guy. And it's just like, shut up. <laughs> It's like I don't know. It's just the whole internet culture about this is stupid. And the reason why we're talking about this, yeah, is because today in the news, the exact opposite thing happened in Japan. So there is a uh, K-pop DJ named DJ Soda. Mm-hmm. Uh, she recently did a live performance in Osaka, and not only was she, they're calling it sexual uh, harassment. It's sexual assault. So she got close to the audience while she was DJing, which also makes me question, what the fuck do DJs do on a stage? Like, why are they there? Like, they're just pre- pressing play on their MacBook, right? Like, what are they doing? I mean, uh, not, not only press the button, right? No. She has timing or she might be dancing with the music. Or they, like might performing, dance, performing. they might dance, but I don't think they do anything on stage. Oh, okay. I think it's just bullshit. She's, show, she's showing herself on the stage, maybe. Yeah, uh-huh. she's there. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so she apparently like walked towards the crowd, and then we have uh, uh, pictures of this. So we have actual evidence of this. Oh. So you got her that goes up to the crowd, and she gets literally sexually assaulted by women and boys on the on the uh, in the audience touching her breasts. Yeah. <laughs> um. Okay, go ahead. I, this remind me something, but go ahead. Speak no, it. let's let's go with you. What, uh, okay. what, are, what are we reminded of? <laughs> Let's just go with you, Natsuki. <laughs> like, not every time, but many times I go drinking with you and then when people get drunk, yeah. you know, people want to touch your thing. You know what I mean? Oh, they touch my dick. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, you know. You don't name people. No, I'm not going to name people. Also, don't gesture. What- <laughs> <laughs> I am trying to say when they want to touch your dick, it's like just... With no, what do How do you say that? With uh, no, it's, it's, it's innocent play. Yeah, innocent play. So that reminds me the situation that you had. <laughs> do you understand what I mean? It's a, not a good thing. But <laughs> I know it's not a good thing at all. But this is called when, giving Natsuki rope to hang herself. When I was there, if I were there, would I, you touch your boobs? I might be <laughs> when we some you know many people are doing in front of me and when they are there uh, it's uh, they are there I might it was nice having this show Nazi I think <laughs> we're gonna you, be canceled you. today <laughs> <laughs> what do you think so what would you do so so the reason why we're bringing this up on the show <laughs> okay is because the response to so DJ Soda she posted this on her Instagram and she said that she's performed all over the world. And the only place that she's ever been sexually assaulted is Japan. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I, I represent Japan and I'm saying sorry. <laughs> As she laughs and chuckles. Um, so the <laughs> one. OK, really quick. One thing that you guys should know. Japanese people tend to smile and laugh when they're uncomfortable. That's what this is. That's what I'm doing right now. That's, that's what this is. Oh, OK. And then uh, two. Uh, so I think I think. The, so okay so let's just talk about the, the the response on instagram and twitter about sorry x x about soda she half the japanese responses were like oh i'm so sorry that you experienced this in japan most japanese people aren't like that you know whatever um and the half so that's half a good 25 percent of the uh, the the uh the responses polite, are just people. like no no of, of, of japanese people mm-hmm. they're like they're like, oh, they were the the people. Because if you look at the audience, they're like, they're touching her. Yeah. And so it's there. The people are saying, well, they're just trying to touch her and that her boobs just happen to be right there. Right. But they're not 
trying to go for that area. This is like 25% of the people who's saying this. And then another maybe 10 or 15% of the responses are saying, why are you bringing this up? Why did you get close to the audience if you didn't want to be touched? Mm -hmm. And why do you dress like that? You brought this on yourself. Okay. Mm -hmm. Which I have to say to that, I'm sorry. You can dress any way you want. You can, there's a, what's her name? Cyborg. There's another YouTuber out there. She basically walks around naked. She's a Chinese YouTuber. She basically walks around naked. Something, something cyborg. Um, it doesn't matter how you dress. Nobody's allowed to touch you without your consent, that's without your permission. True. Yeah, that's true. Um, and in recent years, perf live performance people uh, all over the world have been not just sexually assaulted, but literally assaulted. How many videos are there uh, in the United States, especially with people throwing shit at live perform performers? So I think that this is just a general breakdown in like, I don't know, manner, like good behavior at live performances. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm sorry that that happened to her in Japan. And that's that, I don't know. I, I get sexually assaulted all the time. <laughs> and then what's the point? Of, I mean, you know, she says she has been touched with the audience. Yeah, she says, she, yeah. And she's like, you know, obviously not happy about that. That's it? <laughs> <laughs> this is a new show, Natsuki. <laughs> I mean, I mean, yeah, I know. I mean... What she want? She wants to sue or like... no? She just wants that to not happen again. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Natsuki. <laughs> Guys, you have to understand. Natsuki looks like a woman, but she's actually a dude on no, the inside. No, no, so no. She's just I like... just wonder. I just wonder what. Uh, no, we shouldn't be touched. Her. I mean, they shouldn't be touched. Her boobs. <laughs> yeah, Boob. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. That's I think the end of the sentence right there. <laughs> Put a period in it right there. It's done. <laughs> They shouldn't touch your boobs. Uh, I'll have a, can, I, can I change? I'll change the subject a little bit. Okay. So I remember about four or five years ago, like I was at a DJ event. And again, what the fuck do DJs do? Nothing. Um, and there was this Japanese lady DJ and she was DJing. And I just remember like in the middle of her performance, she just whipped out her titties and started like yeah. doing this with her boobs. Dancing, right? And she I was, was just, in the mood and dancing, yeah, right? Yeah, and I was just like... <laughs> I can't take your eyes off it. No, I was just like, <laughs> okay, just no, no. Again, like you, you know me. I don't get turned on by shit right, like this. Right, right. So I'm just like, DJs do nothing. No, DJ <laughs> choose music and make people dance. No, I'm pretty sure that they make like a 35 minute playlist on their MacBook and make it into one MP3 and just fucking press play on it. Yeah, of course. But before that happens, she, they choose the music and then you know make the race, right? So why do they have to stand in front of the crowd and like like? They're all turning knobs and shit, like they're doing something. They're not doing anything. Yeah, uh, look what I choose, you know? The music that I choose, you like them, right? That's what they are saying, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> well, anyway. Um, well, anyway, so, so to, to finish on this uh, the story about DJ Soto, one, no one should inappropriately touch uh, people that don't, you know, that don't have permission. No. And also, another problem, a big problem that's happening is uh, crowd surfing. Uh, you know, when there's a big audience and the people like go on top and they mm -mm. surf around mm -mm. that like there are so many cases of girls getting uh, assaulted and molested when they crowd surf. So if you're a girl and you go to a live event, I recommend you not crowd surf because you're basically putting your person in the safety of a massive crowd of people. And that's not a good idea. I wouldn't do that. Yeah. Have you ever gone crowd surfing before? No, no, of course not. Because it's, isn't it scary? You I've know? done it a couple times. You have done it a couple times? It's go <laughs> okay. Yeah, when I was, okay, so now I'm like 75 kilograms. But uh -huh. back in the day mm -hmm. when I was crowd surfing, I was a very skinny like 48 kilograms mm -hmm. or like 52 around there. I was mm -hmm. really, really skinny. And like, I remember the last time I went crowd surfing, I was at a, uh, a uh, Jimmy Eat World concert, dating myself. I was at a Jimmy Eat World concert and uh, my friend was like, you want to go up? Because like you have to get launched onto, onto the crowd. It, you can't, it's really hard to just like get up there. So somebody has, they, a couple of guys basically have to like throw you up there yeah, or yeah. you have to dive into the crowd. Mm -hmm. And so like my friend was like, you want to, he's a firefighter. So he's like, fucking Jack's guy. And he's like, you want to go on the crowd? I was like, yeah, let's do it. And uh, it was fine. But then I got to kind of like a hole in the audience and I fell down and that Ouch. was okay. That was okay. But then someone stepped on my, on my shin, Ouch. on my leg and it fucked up my leg. I think I was like 20, 
one or something. I was like 21 or 22 and it fucked up my leg and I had to be carried out. And so that was the last time I went crowd surfing. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. You know, you can get up and then people move you to the, like somewhere, right? Usually what happens is they take you from the front and you move backwards and then you eventually just kind of like, like get put down. Oh, uh, okay. Somebody put it down, put no you down. No one really like thinks uh, about it. Yeah, it just kind of happens. Yeah, I was wondering, you know, if, you know, you go up there and then you move like you're waving, you know what I mean? And then some s- suddenly nothing is yeah, there. Yeah, that's, that's kind of how that happens. fall down. Yeah. It's hard. But this is Scary. also, but this is also. The, I was back in the era where mosh pits were a thing. Uh-huh. Like a bunch of guys get together and they like push on each other, and it's just like crazy and kind of violent. Yeah. I was never really into that. I was just like there. I have seen my husband is on the wave. I mean, on the wave. In my, just crowd surfing. In, on the crowd surfing. Your he, useless husband. My useless husband. <laughs> <laughs> and then he lost his hat and his car key. Okay. During the crowd surfing. You're not supposed to take things in your pocket into a concert. I know, he's stupid. And then, but good thing about Japan, everything came back to us. You hear that, guys? You'll hear it here. They'll touch your boobs, but they'll give your keys back. (laughs) Yeah, give your keys back. And hat. (laughs) And glasses. (laughs) Anyway, um, yeah, no one should inappropriately touch anybody else. And also sexual harassment. Again, let's go back just to, to finalize this Madison thing. If that turns out to be true, mm-hmm. then I, I think it's the end of Linus Media Group. But we'll see. I, I think just reading reading between the lines on her on her tweets, I think that a lot of it is mismanagement, and there's some truth to it. But I think that her perspective was probably warped at the time. Who is going to investigate the case like that? So in the this, lawyers? In this case, mm-hmm. usually a company says, we'll do an internal investigation. Oh, yeah. But in this case, uh, Linus Media Group has promised to hire an outside I company mm-hmm. to investigate them, which mm. I think is best for them. Mm. Um, you don't, especially, I mean, if it turns out that it's true, I mean, they might be liable in a lawsuit or okay. something. So. Uh, we'll see. But yeah, they're not having a fun time over at Linus Media Group right now. It's <laughs> kind of sad. Uh, good news, though. Let's get to good news. Japan economy gets major boost from weak currency. Woohoo! So Japan's economy grew much faster than expected in the three months uh, to the end of June as the country's weak currency boosted exports. The world's third largest economy, Japan, uh, saw its GDP, gross domestic product, uh, rise by an uh, annualized 6% in the period. Profits at the country's car makers, including Toyota, Honda, Nissan, have been boosted in recent months as they saw increase in demand for exports. Uh, the main difficulty for Japan's second half of, this qu- of, the, of the year, however, is that the domestic economy is cooling. Japan workers have seen their pay go up at the fastest rate in 28 years, but with inflation, inflation hovering near a four-decade high, wages have been falling in, ter- in real terms for well over a year. Excellent. That's not excellent. No? No. Why inflation not? is bad. Oh, okay. Things are, everything's more expensive now. Yeah, but, you know, Dude. the economy is going to be good. Yeah, but if the economy is good, but wages are flat, then... So, here, I'll give you an ex- uh, example. So, we used to go to Kiseki no Tevasaki, yeah. Miracle Chicken Wings, mm-hmm. as, <laughs> it, as chicken it would wings. be yeah. translated. <laughs> and it used to be the, what was it called? The Kaishain Kosu, so the salaried employee course. Yeah. This is a weird place. Used to be 2,500 yen is all you can drink, all you can eat for two hours. Now it's 2,750 yen. Uh, 250 yen. 2,750. Uh, yeah, 250 yen, yep. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Inflation. Inflation. That's not really a good example, but... Yeah, but easy to understand. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I was in a, I was in a, on Reddit and we were talking, people were talking about like, you know, living in Japan versus living in other countries. And if you live in like, um, let's take Silicon Valley, you'll get paid a lot of money to live there, but it also costs a lot of money to live there. In Japan, you don't really get paid a lot of money to do anything, but it doesn't really cost a lot to live here. Mm. I mean, it's kind of cheap rent. You can get a nice apartment for like 200, $300. You can eat pretty well for about 300, $400 a month insurance is based on your income pension all that stuff it's pretty cheap hmm. you can easily have a nice life on two thousand dollars a month here that's right that's true mm. not in tokyo in kagoshima or like you know some places will actually pay you to live there hmm. if you're in the uh, countryside anyway uh speaking of foreign people living in japan over t- seven thousand two hundred japan's uh, japan firms employing foreign trainees broke the law hmm. 
That's not the, the good news. Illegal practices uh, were uncovered at 7,247 workplaces in Japan that employed foreign trainees last year, the government uh, said recently, apparently substantiating criticism of companies participating in the controversial decades-old program for their uh, alleged human rights infringements. Mm-hmm. The most common violations involve breaches of safety rules, with the second most common being unpaid wages, according to data based on the Labor Ministry's on-site inspections of 9,829 companies alleged to have engaged in misconduct. Um, the, the data came as the government considers overhauling the trainee program, which was established in 1993. I was 10 years old. Uh, the system was introduced primarily for agricultural and manufacturing sectors, but has been under increased cr- scrutiny following multiple allegations of trainee harassment and abuse. In one case, foreign trainee, a uh, foreign trainee was tasked with using a crane to lift loads upward of one ton, even though the person had not completed the required training course and eh. was not qualified to carry out the, eh. the, the operation. Wow. What would you do if that happened? If, if you were you, I mean, what would you, what did they do? If I was like, if they told me, hey, Mitch, you want to you operate a crane? Yeah. I mean, you don't have a license, but you want to do a crane? Well, somebody did, right? What did they do? Yeah. They did good job <laughs> without good training. Maybe. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, like yeah, this is this is damning, but here we go. Let's just compare. Like if you go to any construction site in Texas, California, or Nevada, mm-hmm. and you go up to all the construction workers on site, and one you say, "Do you have US citizenship or even a visa to work in this uh, country?" Uh. And I I would guarantee you a lot of them don't. They don't. So they sneakily get inside the country and then and then the Americans employ them. Ah, uh, he mm. because it doesn't mean like you don't have to pay a lot, like cheap rent. I mean, not rent. Cheap wages. Che- yeah, cheap wages. Yeah, and then also because another thing, yeah, that is true, but it's also let's just face it, um, the construction work and farm work, mm-hmm. especially agriculture, farm work is mm. fucking hard, mm. and. Lazy ass Americans don't want to do it. There was this uh, program. I forgot where it was. Some state in the United States. They were like, let's open. Let's try to push Americans to be farmers. And so they spent like, I don't know, a few million dollars trying to recruit Americans to be farmers. I think they got one. Uh, no one wants to do no, it. No, no one wants to do it. Yeah. It's, it's fucking hard work. And yeah. it's it's not it's not good pay. And, you know, no one wants to do it. So. So on the Who one hand, that? Who does that? Immigrants. Uh, immigrants. Um. So on the one hand, Ameri- like conservative Americans are like, don't, don't have illegal immigration. Also, they go to the supermarket and they choose like the cheapest tomatoes. So, you know, yeah, it's not. It's not Understand. Immigration is, is basically unless you really, really police immigration, it's always problematic no matter where you are. Um, let's move on from Japan to uh, Josh's home h- hometown of uh, Maui. Uh, Japan uh, to give Hawaii two million dollars in aid as well f- a wildfire death toll tops. Uh, I think it's one hundred and eleven now, and Josh said it was one thousand three hundred still missing. Japan. What, what do you mean by missing? They had a wildfire and then they go. They they live there. Uh, so basically, mm-hmm. people like so. Let's, let's say you have like your your grandma lives in a house in, okay. in Maui, mm-hmm. um, and you call her phone and she and it doesn't connect. Ah, I see. Because the wildfire destroyed fucking half the island and the communication network is gone. So missing means like they're not dying. I mean, somebody might... It means question mark. Yeah, okay. Right. And so so if you can't contact your grandma, uh-huh. then you contact the police and you say, I can't find my grandma. Okay. And so they go, okay, let's add her name to the missing list. Uh, uh, uh. Now, grandma might be sleeping at, you know, the local gym okay. in like a, you know, like a, a, a evacuee mm-hmm. area. Grandma might also be, might have died. Yeah. So it's all, it's a question Wait. mark. So 1,300 people are, we don't know. That's all. How do they find out when the wildfire is calm down yeah I mean, so now it's, it, the wildfire is finished right uh-huh. so the fire is gone but it's just like going through the area and finding like like discovering what what happened oh uh, so it's 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 gonna take a long time because a lot of the roads are fucking gone like oh it, it looks like a nuclear disaster oh zone oh my god no it just like it's crazy like um i, I watched some i watched a couple twitter videos sorry x <laughs> some X videos about it. And uh, I was just like, nope, not watching that anymore. That was just, it was, it's fucking, it's crazy. Is, is your family okay, Josh? 
Oh, okay. Great. Great. Let, let's ask our, our resident Maui guy here. Um, we, have you been able to watch those videos? I mean, that's it's fucking crazy, right? Basically, every day I, I've been following the news. Like, my entire Instagram, because I have so many friends from uh, Maui, is just filled with videos and, like, what do you call it? All the evacuation centers and stuff like that. But, like, I've cried multiple times watching mm. it. It's like really heartbreaking. Mm. Yeah. I mean, it just like when you, when you see interviews of the people there, it's just like, they're like, they're in shock. It looks like a war zone. Oh my God. And so, and, and we recently learned that the wildfire was probably caused by the, 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 the local power company, not fucking. So first of all, so when there, when a hurricane comes in, okay, if the if the power lines are not taken care of mm-hmm. properly, mm-hmm. then they'll fall down. Mm-hmm. So if you know this is going to happen, like power companies in like Nevada and Texas and California and stuff like that, they have a policy that as the wind speed goes up, they turn off the power mm-hmm. just in case, like you know, because they don't know, like it might it might cause a wildfire. And the fucking power company didn't do that. Mm-hmm. And I think we have footage of this. Like that we know now that the that the wildfire was most likely caused by down power lines from the 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 local power company. So I I saw uh, like a timeline video about the fire and apparently this video that somebody took and put on uh, Twitter, I think was taken at like six thirty in the morning mm-hmm. and like it wasn't dealt with until like the fire got out of control like eight nine hours later there's another video before this one that happens in the middle of the night and it's like it's a security camera footage and it's just like a dark forest and all of a sudden you see this huge glowing blue light from the power lines and then there's a fire and and that's exactly what you said like then no one because it's you know they were overwhelmed from the hurricane and everything and so no one dealt with it for hours and then it just got out of control so, yeah, it's, um, and, and, you know, and then also the, I guess the worst part of all this is that fucking, you know, money corrupts everything. And so you got all these investors who are like trying to buy up all the land from the homeless people there. How, how did they finish the fire? Like a lot just of burned fi- out. Oh, okay. So you can do nothing. Just- Most wildfires, humans can't do anything. Um. Humans can reduce the damage mm-hmm. but you can't wh- when you have a big wildfire like what are you gonna do just yeah no i mean no firefighters like I'm, i mean like no i mean I'm not, I'm not trying to say that the firefighters didn't do anything uh-huh. but you can't put out a fire so you just th- reduce the damage you can reduce the damage mm-hmm. you can evacuate people you can maybe you can do things that are called a burn back which is like you make another fire and so it burns a little area and then so so when the big fire comes there's like it's already burned uh, so it stops i see I mean, there's, there's things that you can do, but like you can't stop it mm. usually. It's just mm. like control, try to control it. Um, but yeah, it's, and then also because there was a hurricane while this was happening. So you got high wind speeds um, and then access to areas was limited. It's just, it was a perfect storm. Oh. Um, when know. the hurricane comes, a lot of rain, rain, raining is also happening. But more so than the rain, it's the winds. Oh uh, yeah. So it doesn't matter. You can, if something is wet, it can still burn. Uh huh. If the fire is hot enough, it'll still burn. But from what I saw, it wasn't raining. Yeah, it was like, a lot of winds. Day. It was just wind. Just wind. And then the fire hurricane goes. itself was like actually a bit off. So they just got like the high wind, mm-hmm. not any of like the rain or anything like that. But like going back to what you were saying, uh, there are a lot of people who are trying to like buy the land from. Uh, the people, but also the government too, is trying to buy the land from people, and they're getting like a lot of shit from. Like my my Instagram is just filled with people saying like, "Don't sell your land." To- no, I, no, it's 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 a it's a real easy thing for us in our nice dry studio here that we go home to our nice comfortable bed to say, "Hey guys, don't sell your property." Mm-hmm. But if you're living in an evacuee center. You have no money in the bank. Your fucking house is gone. Maybe you didn't have fire insurance. And you're looking at your future going, what the hell am I going to do? Mm -hmm. And someone comes at you and say, I'll give you a million dollars for your property. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, might be. And then, what do you mean? Like many rich people are aiming, you know. Yeah, they're trying to, you know, and it, 
you can't blame the rich people for seeing an opportunity right, and right. taking it, but at uh-huh. the same time, it's really shitty mm-hmm. that that's the kind of world that we live in. That just, it's, you know, mm. anyway, I, I, anyway, my, I hope that everybody like, you know, you haven't, no one, you know, has passed away. Um, not directly. Like I, a few of my friends, they said that like their family is missing and stuff like that. Aww. But like, no one that I'm directly in contact Constant. with. Like mm. I lived in Kihei and there was a wildfire that was close to Kihei. But what I think stopped it from getting to Kihei is we have a really big highway between where the wildfire was and where my whole family so was. So it stopped. So yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Like, um, yeah, I, I would recommend no one watch the videos from that area. It's, it's, <laughs> it's traumatizing oh traumatizing yeah it's oh. it's crazy you know um but yeah i i hope that that situation you know gets better because it's just that sucks Sad. but anyway so so japan's pitching in a little bit to to give them some money so hopefully that it's mostly going to the red cross and so hopefully that helps out some of the people not only japan many wars yeah, yeah, yeah a lot of people a lot of people because like a lot of people love hawaii because like yeah. it's like the it's like the vacation spot okay another thing I'll, and then we'll get off to hawaii um there was a, a video, a viral video of like people that are homeless, their ho- houses are burning down. And then offshore, there's like a snorkeling boat and like tourists who are snorkeling. And the response that I saw online was two. One, a bunch of people saying, fuck you. How can you be a tourist during this time? And I totally understand that. Mm. And another part of it was saying, well, yeah, but we need to continue the tourist in- industry. Otherwise, we'll never recover. That's right. Mm-hmm. So yeah, like on that point, uh, my mom said that uh, the day of the fire, they sent out like a word for all the tourists to basically go home Mm -hmm. and everybody basically left the island. My mom said this is the emptiest she's ever seen it, even like since Corona, it hasn't been this empty, but she's saying the same thing. Like the entire island is basically hundred percent dependent on tourism. Mm -hmm. So Mm -hmm. if nobody goes, then Maui is not going to get any better. So Mm -hmm. we want more people to go to Maui. There's still like all the tourist destinations, except for Lahaina now are okay. So, I mean, it's not the same thing, but when the Vegas shooting happened, Uh, you know, and like 58 people or whoever it was, they lost their lives and hundreds more were injured, mm -hmm. you know, that night, you can go to any casino in Vegas and people were like playing ba- blackjack and smoking and drinking and having a good time and everything was basically open. Um, and that pissed me off. That, that really, really made me angry. But in retrospect, when I was thinking about it, I was like, well, yeah, but you got to pay the bills. You got to keep the lights on. And a lot of, you know, when, when something bad happens, you don't want to exaggerate the badness of it, mm-hmm. you know? And so, but I can totally understand the people who are pissed off at those snorkelers. Like, I get it. I get it. I would probably have the same reaction. But at the same time, you can't abandon the island. Mm-mm. That'll do more damage, you know, than the fire. So mm. it's, you know. Yeah, going to Maui means yeah. support them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. I mean, and that, that will happen because like when, you know, when the Vegas shooting happened, the thing that came out of that was the Vegas strong thing. And a lot of people went to go so their, show their support and things mm-hmm. like that. So I also, I think that there'll be like this, like let's go to support Maui mm-hmm. kind of thing that'll happen once the damage is understood and the, you know, the recovery process begins. I think that's what's going to happen, mm-hmm. hopefully. Um, let's continue the news. Biden hopes to tighten South Korea and Japanese bond at Camp David. Um, so basically, uh, Biden, I don't think this is necessarily Biden. I think this is Biden's team because Biden <laughs> is like, is he, is he, is he okay? He's a symbol. How's, how's, the how's, team? how's grandpa America doing? <laughs> <laughs> how's, how's he doing? Whenever he's like on camera, he's just happy to be there. <laughs> he's just like so positive. He's like, he's just like, oh, I'm here. Hi guys. <laughs> Like Mickey Mouse? <laughs> no, 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 no. He's like, I woke up this morning. This is a good day. <laughs> uh, 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 Natsuki was asking me off, cam- uh, off camera. She's like, what's going to happen if he dies? <laughs> yeah, I really thought, you know, if that happened, what it's going to happen. So here's my thing about this. I, I think... I think both the Democrats and the Republicans are dumb as fuck. Okay. I fucking, every time any of them get on camera, I just want to fucking like choke them. But Biden's team is doing a good job for the most part compared to Trump. Okay. But if he dies, then Kamala Harris will become president. The vice president? Yeah. And Uh that woman scares me. Why? She used to be uh, uh, a, uh, a prosecutor and like her... 
whenever she talks to people, she talks down. Oh. She's like, listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. Let me tell you. And I'm like, do we want to give this person the nuclear codes? I'm like, I don't want her to be president. That would be a scary America. Well, she sounds like a strong person and she sounds like a leader, doesn't she? No. Yeah, well, so is Hitler. Oh,、uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just, every time she's on camera, I mean, she's not dumb. Don't,、yeah. don't get me wrong. I mean, you know, we've had worse vice presidents, but like every time when she's on camera, I'm just like, oh, God, I hope you're never president. Like,、Aww. sorry. Grandpa, do your best. Well, I don't know. Like, just, yeah. Anyway, so Biden, Grandpa America, is trying to, his team is trying to tighten、uh, relationships between South Korea and Japan. Uh, because I don't know if you know this, but there was a war a couple years ago, a little, little bit ago, where Japan and Korea kind of went like、Mm-mm. they weren't very good friends. But、uh, that was almost 100 years ago. And so, like, now relationships between Japan and Korea are much better. And nothing brings friends together like hating on another person.、Mm. So it's basically the United States, South Korea, and Japan going, fuck you, China. Or North Korea. Well, isn't North Korea and China basically the. Yeah, same. They're like、uh, yeah. buddies. Not same. Yeah.、Mm. They're like buddies.、Mm, buddies.、Uh, Steven Zion.、Hmm? Zion, is this his name? Steven Zion, I think is his name. He would, he would absolutely.、Uh, like Peter. Peter Zion or Steven Zion? I don't know. Some white boy named Zion. <laughs> I always bring him up on the show. Peter Zion? Peter Zion. He would disagree and he would say that、uh, North Koreans actually hate the Chinese. Really? Yeah, because they're like, they, they feel like they're the. Like the Like, uh, they feel like, like they're under. Yeah, like they're not like equal. They're not equal.、Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, he's got, he's got a video on his YouTube channel about that. It's pretty interesting. But anyway,、um, I don't know. Anyway, the good news is that South Korea, Japan, and the United States will probably become closer buddies, which would be good because I think、uh, South Korea is fucking awesome. I love that place. I love that place too. And their airport is so good. Incheon, come on, Kagoshima, reestablish your Incheon Kagoshima、uh, line. Hmm. Uh, getting on to more lighthearted news, Nara Deer、uh, Mystery Deepens as tourists return to Nara Park. <laughs> so there is this thing called Shika Damari,、mm-hmm. which I hope we have a picture of this. It's basically all the, the deer. So if you guys don't know this, in Nara, the deer hang out with the people and they've learned to bow because they, they senbei, is that what rice, it is?、Uh, rice rice crackers. cracker.、Mm-hmm. They sell these rice crackers that you can feed to the deer. And so, like, and the deer have learned that if they come up to you and bow, then, then you'll give them a senbei. Right. But anyway, every day at about 6 30 p.m. to 7 p.m., all the deer, like, congregate in one area, sit down, chill out, and then leave around 7 p.m. And no one knows why. That's the first mystery. And the second mystery was that used to,、uh, before, there used to be hundreds of deer. But now there's only about, there used to be about 600 deer doing this every day.、Mm. But now it's only down to 26. Oh, what happened? They died? They're gone?、Uh, no one knows.、Mm, that's a mystery. It's a mystery. Okay. No one knows. So when, when I went to Nara, some, there was a person who t a k e care of you know, the deer, and then he was trying to lead. The deer is to somewhere.、Mm-hmm. So I thought there is,、uh, you know, like a house of deer. No, no. <laughs> I want to believe that.、Mm-hmm. There's just a house where all the deer go and hang out. They like, like have, a zoo. They like, they like kick back. And, did you see that video of the, the bear in China?、Mm-hmm. Which one? It's called、uh, Sunshine Bear. What did he do? I mean, the bear did. So there is a bear、mm-hmm. in China. I think it's called a sunshine bear. Sunshine bear. Sounds cute. Dancing?、Mm, no, it's not that. It's called a Chinese bear. By the way, while you were searching something. Oh, okay, this one. What? In the、oh, zoo. That, that's it right there. So,、okay. a sun bear. It's called a sun bear. Okay. And it was standing up and talking to the tourists. And so a bunch of people think it's a dude in a bear suit. <laughs> it's a real bear. Yeah, it looks like, you know, a dude inside of the bear. No? And like the Chinese for, are like, the Chinese、real? are like, real? yeah, they're like, the Chinese are like, it's not a person in a suit, it's a real bear. <laughs> We talked about the dog inside of the you know, suit、uh, you know, a few、so、weeks fucking, ago. That was so, like, that was traumatizing. That was scary. <laughs> anyway,、uh, so the bear. Looks like a dude in a suit,、Mm-mm. and the, the, the deers might have a house. 
<laughs> I don't think they have a house in Alaska. I think they're just like... No? No. Okay. Um, do we want to do the pasta story? I think we should just skip it. Let's just skip the pasta story. Oh. Basically, there's a pasta at 7-Eleven in Japan and foreign people think it's stupid. Why? Let's show a picture of it. Do we have a picture of it? No. Don't skip it. Whatever. Mm-hmm. Human hair from India helps make Japanese buses more efficient. Did you know it? No. No, I didn't either. So basically, if, if you guys didn't know this, in Japan, and this, I think this is the only country that this happens, uh, comment below if, you, if it's wrong. When you get on the bus, you get a little ticket. It's got a number on it. Then you sit your ass down and you wait for your stop. And then you look at the screen at the top of the, the front of the bus and you look at your number and it says how much your fare is. Yeah. On flat rate buses, the fare is always the same. On other buses, it gradually increases the farther away you go from your mm-hmm. stop. So then what you do is you put the appropriate amount of cash and your ticket into a hole at the front of the bus. Mm-hmm. And then it sorts that shit. And then it puts the coins and the appropriate thing inside and puts the tickets and the appropriate thing. Somehow... Part of this, this right here, this, this sorting process uses Indian people hair. Wow. To help sort out the tickets and the... What types of hair? Like, you know, straight hair, or like curry hair? Like, Bas- you, the, basically. So basic. what, what happened? Okay. The reason why this is a thing. The, here, I'll read the article. The coins are sorted by size, much like they would be in a vending machine. But the paper ticket is an additional complexity that has been solved thanks to the miracle of, that is Indian people hair. And there, and the reason why the reason why they have Indian people hair is because there's a temple in India where people go and give their hair as like a present to the god. I read the subtitles. Not now. even listening. I am listening. I'm listening. But I read the Japanese subtitle on the TV now, and then it says, you know, Indian people hair has like koshigaru. How do you say that in English? Like nice katai, nice katai. <laughs> It's uh the, not, the not right too soft, yeah not the too... right the right firmness yeah so mm-hmm. so there's a temple in India and all the the women go and cut their hair and give it to the temple to like you know as a present for the god oh. or whatever oh. and then that temple sells so, so, the hair oh my god <laughs> to Japan and no, then... not just to Japan but also to Japan to, to become like you know, somebody's wig probably that most yeah. likely but also the buses stuff wow i mean look this okay there there are weird natural things everywhere in the the very first one of the sorry i'm going to talk about something ah you don't care no, one, of I the, do. one of the very first atomic bomb designs okay. before the, the 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 nagasaki and hiroshima when they were trying to design a bomb one of the very first bomb designs required they they it's complicated but basically Component A and component B needed to slam into each other to make a, an explosion. Mm-hmm. And the only way that you could make uh, a oil, a lubricant that would be able to sit in a bomb for a long period of time and still be like slippery was whale fat oil. <laughs> to who? The whale or whale. the people that the bombs be dropped on? Oh. Both? Okay. Okay. We're on the radio, guys. Listen, so we're on the radio. And um, the other day, like the, I think I said this before, but like the radio host was like, Natsuki, what happened on August 6th? And you're like, the atomic bombings. Yeah. And then it was cut. <laughs> and we're like, dude, you can't say that. Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Where was the nani? Kujira. They sure? That's why I said kawaiso. Because that, but it's to an atomic bomb. So it's a bomb. So this is for to kill people. So which was kawaiso? both <laughs> mm-hmm. so anyway that's mm-hmm. true they and then they ended up not going with that design but that was one of the very first designs for an atomic bomb is using whale fat oil mm-hmm. let's talk about something more friendly studio ghibli releases new plush toy backpacks for adults and children because adults are just basically big children <laughs> So it's that's a cute. so uh, for those of you who are just listening to the podcast we're looking at a backpack that looks like Totoro stuffed animal and it's got Plenty of space inside for all of your adulting needs. It doesn't look new, isn't it? Like, it's somewhere. But it's for adults, that's what I'm saying, you know? No, it's just, it's like, an, oh, the cat bus, that's another one. Cat bus. There are so many, uh, oh, there are so many, uh, the, the Kiki's. Gigi. Gigi. Kiki's the black cat. Black cat Gigi. Mm-hmm. What's the this? The little pig thing from. No, it's not pig, it's a mouse. N- yeah, I think. the little, this is uh, from Spirited Away. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. And etc. 
And so, anyway, so uh, there's a lot of kindergartens in kindergartens and hoikuen daycare centers in Japan that their official bus is the cat bus. I have seen some. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I think it's the fucking greatest thing in the world. Yeah, you mean painting, right? Painted. Yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. what are they gonna do? Like have an actual cat? <laughs> Put people in it. How we run around? <laughs> Where are we going with this idea? <laughs> Sounds like fun. I want to. Like... I want to ride a real cat, but you know, it's fluffy. <laughs> and I was always wondering if you go into the you know real cat, but you know, organs are there. You know. There's this, there's this, there's this really racist show called Drawn Together, and there's a character that's like, like a caricature of Pikachu called Lean Lean. Uh huh. And in one of the shows, like the other characters were able to see through the eyes of Lean Lean, and like they were making a racist joke about how Asian people can't drive. We cannot uh, drive. Just, just, just go with me on okay. this one. So when they, mm-hmm. when they, I think it's when they put on a hat or something that they had like Lean Lean vision, mm-hmm. and like. When they're like, yeah, that's it. Right, that's it right there. Make sure you put this in the show. And you got to put this in the show. God. Anyway, I'll describe it. So, so, so they put on this hat and it basically like gives everybody lean, lean vision, which is like racism. Yeah, it is. And anyway, fun. so like one of the things is, is like, they're like, I forget. They're like, yeah, they showed him like a picture of like driving and like, it's just like cars flying at them. And so like, that's their explanation of why Asian people can't drive. <laughs> And the only reason why I'm bringing this up, that's a really, really racist show. And I recommend all of you people watch it because it just, it, it shits on everyone. It, there's no one, no race, no gender, no like, like, like political affiliation is not shat on in that show. Everybody's made fun of in that show. But anyway, um, I always think whenever you're talking, Natsuki, that the inside of your head is like that picture of the cars flying at you. <laughs> But instead of cars, just like random shit, just like all the time. And then you just kind of pluck out something and just say it. Oh, that's true. <laughs> like you know, all the information goes through and I just catch the information <laughs> that I want to talk about. I have an interest, you know. <laughs> like you can see it happening too because you'll talk to her and like the continu- the conversation's continuing. But her, her eyes go like this. And like, even though it's been like five minutes since you said the, the thing that she's going to talk about, she'll bring it up. She'll be like... I was thinking about this and you're like, I talked about that five minutes ago. You're like, yes, <laughs> but I want to talk about this now. Because you know why that happened? Because you talk too much and then too much information going on. I'm trying to catch which one is the one that I should, you know, talk she about. She does this with everybody. She does this with everybody. <laughs> okay. All right. I, last... I only listen what I want to listen. <laughs> you must be the happiest person in the world. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, last story today. Giant Pokemon appear in Yokohama Sky in Awesome Joan Art Show at oh. uh, World Championship. So basically, um, we have drones hey, in Yokohama. Hey, I'm wondering, uh, the, the, the size of the lawn is like small or big? It's, not, it's about this big. Oh, okay, mm-hmm. and then they get together and then become a one big art. Yeah, do we have a video of it? There's a video of it in the article. Wow. Throw it in the show afterwards. <laughs> play their drone okay. like 100 people are doing yeah, that's not how that works <laughs> i know Natsuki. it's a giant computer system mm-hmm. so that's really cute and all when you see when you sh- when you show the drones but um and they have like art and stuff like today we have a firework uh festival here in kagoshima mm-hmm. and they're gonna have the disney drone show right, right. because the tokyo disneyland is celebrating hit there it's 40th yeah. anniversary. And so it's cool, mm-hmm. but the real reason why that technology was developed is for war. Oh, really? Yes. What, 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 what's going to happen? <laughs> well, who knows what's going to happen, but that technology was developed for war, for fighting. Oh. Yeah. And then the government is trying to give us a you know good image of drone to hide the no other, no just companies have like taken the same technology and they're like oh we can make cool light shows with that but um when they did it at the chinese olympics um tokyo one, olympics no when they first did it at the chinese olympics really one of the one of the comments was uh that the chinese government wanted to show off that they had this technology uh, uh, and that they that they that they could do this and then, I mean, it's a it's a normal thing now, but back then that was like a wow. Look, kind of look thing. what we can do. Yeah, uh. but now now a lot of like we you don't even know the shit that the government makes. Like they have swarm drones, drones that go like a hundred kph, and just like all their only their only goal is to like slam into the enemy and blow up. 
And so you, you'll have like a plane that'll fly over somewhere and they'll just drop thousands of these little drones and they'll just like fly into places and blow up. I shouldn't say this, but it's a new type of kamikaze. <laughs> but I shouldn't have said it. <laughs> That's our show this week, guys. Uh, if you want to support us, we have our Patreon link below. No, it's not something I'm supposed to. <laughs> Say all laugh. Okay. Uh, there are links to all the articles that we talked about in the video description. Um, if you guys are watching on YouTube, there's also the audio version of this. If you're on the audio, there's also the YouTube version of this. Natsuki, it's always a pleasure to have you on the show. <laughs> yes, We're going to have a home party at our at one of our friends' house tonight, so we can talk more about kamikazes then. Yeah, new type of. Gotcha. <laughs> all right. Thanks to all our patrons, and we'll see you guys next week. Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs>